went to the Met Gala last night. <laughs> a beautiful audience. Thank you for joining. We are live. Speaking of, yes, last night, the Met Gala, just a few blocks from here. Okay, so I stayed up and I watched everyone look. Um, Tyla, my goodness, did they just carve her from heaven? <laughs> everyone looked amazing. So here's the deal. I was not invited to the Met Gala, but that's okay. <laughs> because I did get an invitation to Usher's after party at the, but yeah, so, okay. Wait, 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 but here's the truth. So I was like, okay, I have two shows today. We're live and we do a second show. Let me map it out. My husband and I, okay, put the baby to bed. Okay, got the sitter. Okay, I said, we'll eat dinner at 9.30 so we can stay up. Because if I go to sleep, I won't wake up. The party didn't start till 11 p.m. I gotta be here and up like 5.36. So I'm like mapping it all out like a 53-year-old mom does. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we got it. So we go to this place called the Monkey Bar. I get my burger, I get a glass of wine because I know if I have two, I'm going night-night, <laughs> right? So I have a glass of wine. We're on our way to the party and watch this. Take a look. I'm normally not out this late. But I don't want to miss out. Okay. I don't want to miss out. <laughs> we drove up to the addition in Times Square. I was like, man, we got to go to bed. I, went, I didn't get out of the car. I didn't get out of the car. Usher, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Chris Chambers, your team, thank you. But I, I know I pulled up and I was like, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> and I have to go live. I did it for you all. It's you, it's you. <laughs> so, okay, all right. So, if y'all were my family, I would have been at Usher, so it's your fault that I'm here at work. Meanwhile, congratulations to the show's lead hairstylist, the Johnny Wright. He made his Met Gala debut doing the hair of acclaimed choreographer Ebony Nichols. Ebony was there with her partner, Queen Latifah. Great job, Johnny. Come on, that's royalty. Look at that. Congratulations, Johnny. All right. So everybody looked hot last night. And of course, that place to what we're doing today. It is Let's Get Lit, our book series. We are so proud because, you know, we're the only daytime show, by the way, that has a full hour dedicated to the hottest books. Past season, four seasons, over 1,700 copies of the most sought after books on shelves. 600,000 pages of Juicy Lit for the Tam Fam. So here's the deal. People keep asking me, you guys do a whole hour dedicated to books. Nobody does that. Why? Because our show is really about storytelling. Doesn't mean you have to be famous on the Met Gala stage. It just means everybody's got a story to tell. So we say, let's talk about it, right? So that prompted my crime series, which thank you again for supporting Jordan Manning and our, our journey there. It's been phenomenal. And I don't know if you know, I have a new book coming out in September. It's my first cookbook. <laughs> Cook recipes for joyous, no pressure fun. This is actually my kitchen at my house. That's why I'm sleepy. I'm always at home cooking. And so this is my collaborator, James Beard, award-winning culinary producer, Liz Styling. You can pre-order the book, 73 recipes that I have made. My cooking journey started in 2008 when my father passed away. And my gift to my dad in heaven was I was going to learn to cook because he did all the cooking. So this is my journey, becoming a confident cook. You get to come inside my kitchen in my home. Don't go to sleep like I did at Usher's party. And you can <laughs> enjoy it. You can get a QR code on the bottom of your screen.